You will not like OpenBSD. I know, because most people I have talked to do not like OpenBSD. If you wish to make an informed decision on it, you must first get information, then make a decision. In order to get information, you must try the operating system, but by that point, you have already skipped to step 2. I will give you as much information as I can without showing you how the operating system works, so that you can make a decision whether or not to use OpenBSD on your own. Most people do not like OpenBSD because it is unintuitive. People are used to graphical user interfaces for day-to-day -day tasks that tell them exactly how to use their operating system. OS X, Chrome OS, Android, iOS, and other things of that nature do a good job. OpenBSD is a Unix-like operating system and therefore requires you to know how to use a Unix-like operating system. If you are new to Linux, BSD, Solaris, and other Unix type things, try Linux Mint. It is easy to install and to use so you should start there so you can just dip your toe in and then slowly progress. OpenBSD uses a centralized approach to doing things. Everything is one place all made by OpenBSD developers. It is very difficult to get anything that works outside of that center being the OpenBSD base system and packages. If you want near anything to work, you should use a Linux or Windows. One of the classic Linuxes is Slackware, but I use it simply as an example. OpenBSD does not support most hardware at this point. I typically use Linux when my hardware does not work with OpenBSD. I like Arch Linux because it shares many OpenBSD principles that are also shared with other BSD operating systems. OpenBSD will not give you hipster credit. Plan 9 and Temple OS are sufficiently old and unusual. So if you want to be cool, use one of those two. They are good operating systems that improve upon Unix and are, in my opinion, better than Linux. OpenBSD is not designed to be fast and therefore is not. OpenBSD is designed to be correct and secure. One operating system that is designed to be fast that is similar to OpenBSD is FreeBSD, so I recommend that if you uh, cannot bear the speed of OpenBSD, you try FreeBSD. OpenBSD is based around man pages and terminal commands. For every terminal command, you first need to read a man page or you will not understand how to use the utility. This takes time up front, which not everyone likes. You will not be able to find help for OpenBSD on Google in almost every case. OpenBSD does not have many people that will answer you on Stack Exchange or forums, so you cannot index it with a search engine. Not many people use OpenBSD, so you won't find many questions of any nature. Therefore, it's harder to find an answer. There are not as many people to talk to, and the uh, user base of OpenBSD is not large enough for most vendors to support OpenBSD. In the realm of servers, it is fairly well supported, but consumers do not... Uh, 
get much support from vendors, hardware and software alike. OpenBSD is different than anything else. To a greater degree, then different Linuxes are different from each other, and to a fairly uh, equal degree, then other Unix-like operating systems differ from each other. OpenBSD requires maintenance like any other thing, so take care of your stuff if you want it to last, just a reminder. OpenBSD is not all bad. It is my favorite operating system. It's just not right for everyone. My favorite thing about OpenBSD is that it is correct. If something is advertised to work or supported, it almost always will work, and if it is not, you can simply file a bug report and it will work uh, in the future. OpenBSD is secure. I don't have to worry because OpenBSD is paranoid for me, so it is difficult to get hacked if I configure it correctly. OpenBSD is lightweight in both lines in code and storage space. I like that because I could feasibly read through all of the source code if I had the time. And the source code is pretty from what I have seen. OpenBSD is functional. I can use it as a tool rather than as a way to use OpenBSD, which means I get all my stuff done. And that is a good reason to learn the operating system. OpenBSD is sensible. You can use it in a way that would be designed for convenience rather than to be easy to program or for the sake of it, like many things in the software world are, like JavaScript web interfaces. OpenBSD is easy to install once you know how. People like to joke that it takes eight enter key presses for you to install the operating system. I have not had that exact experience personally, but I have had similar. I do not have to look at documentation anymore because I've installed it a couple times already. It simply prompts you for information, then lets you install it. I will tell you how in future videos. OpenBSD is easy with practice, meaning you can simply know how to use a utility, which takes some time to learn, and then you will be able to do it near immediately much faster than you would with an intuitive GUI tool. OpenBSD is well documented. If there is a feature, be it a way of doing things, a command, or a library, it is going to be in the man pages or on openbsd.org in the FAQ. OpenBSD has a friendly community even though they might not seem like it. They will help you with your thing, even if they're not polite. OpenBSD has free songs and artwork, because not everyone contributing to it is a developer. It is more than just code. It is a way of doing things. I hope you make an informed decision that best reflects what you want to do. Thank you for watching.